Web pages have plenty of images on them. Now, before I show you how to add an image, I'm going to give you the following tip. You do not want to overdo images on a web page because when you create an internet marketing website, what sells is the words, not necessarily the pictures. Another th restriction against adding too many pictures is that the more pictures that you add, pictures have a large file size. So if you start adding a lot of pictures, it will take the page a longer time to load. And if it takes the page too long to load, people will get impatient and they will leave. So you just want to put a few images in here and there just to add a nice little luster to your web page so it's not just purely text. But don't overdo the images. Use them sparingly. And you can go to rapid4x.com and see how we use images, you'll see that we don't have millions of images on our website. You'll see some websites that just overdo it and my bet is that those aren't great selling websites. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got an image here. Now you can see it's a JPEG image when this little box rolls up. You can also right click on it and go to properties and you'll see right here that it's a JPEG image. And the file extension would be .jpg. Now, let me open up my website folder. And I want to put this in the images folder. So I click here. And I'm going to drag it into the images folder. So now it's going to live there. And you'll see a little preview of me there. So um, that's my mugshot. If we go back, now we have an image in our images folder. We could load it up and put a bunch of images in there. We could put all the pictures that are going to be on our website in there. For now, we just have this one image. Now, I'm going to show you how to create your own images and how to edit them. For now, just assume that you know how to put an image in the folder. And I'm going to show you in a very short while how to edit the images and how to create your own. So let's open our page again where we're editing and let's insert an image. So if we go up to insert, the first option is image. So we select image, image location. Let's choose a file and in our my website folder, let's look in the images folder and you'll see Brian 2. So we click on that and the image location is images brian2.jpg. And when you do this, you want to say URL is relative to page location. I will explain that in the hyperlinking section of this part of the course. So for now, just use a relative link and I will explain that. Keep watching these videos and you will understand that fully. So here it says images, Brian 2 JPEG. Yes, that's good. We hit OK. and it tells me I need to supply alternate text. So I will show you what that means. Let's just type it in. We'll say picture of Brian. The reason why it's asking you to put in the alternate text, <clears throat> excuse me, is if the image is not there and somebody puts their cursor over it, it will have a little bit of, of text to show. We can also say don't use alternate text but here I will use alternate text. It's always a good idea to do that so you can list what it's a picture of. So we hit OK and my picture appears. Now let's save it, the web page, as index and we'll replace that. And let's go to our My Website folder and we'll click on index and see what happens. And you can see the page with my picture and when I put my cursor over it, you'll see that the text says picture of Brian. So it's a good idea to put a text in there and for search engines because they look for words when they go through the source code. And if that, those words have keywords related to your site, it's going to be a good search engine technique. So always get in the habit of naming your images and putting a little description of what the image is. It's a good thing, good habit to get into that you're going to be glad you did later. So we can leave here and 
that's basically the first step to adding an image. I can take this image and if I highlight it and I go up here and I want to center align it, I can center align it and make sure the image is highlighted. I can also right align it. But for now, I will just left align it. And that is basically all you need to know about inserting an image into your file. I'll show you another step though. Let's put an image in a table so we can have some text. So let's insert a table and we want to do a one row, two columns. Let's make this 450 pixels wide and we'll go for one pixel border so we hit OK.